has never been higher. The anxiety has never been greater. As 16 of your favorite celebrities face off in a head-to-head -head competition designed to challenge their nerves and test their mental abilities. It's the Great American Celebrity Spelling Bee. They begin as teams, but by the end of the competition, only one of the 16 will be left standing as our Celebrity Spelling Bee Champion, taking home a grand prize for themselves and their favorite charity that could reach more than $150,000. All on the Great American Celebrity Spelling Bee. And now your host, John O'Hurley. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Great American Celebrity Spelling Bee. Tonight, some of your favorite celebrities are going to go head to head in the first of a three part spelling competition. Let's welcome our celebrity spellers right now. Well, the rules are easy, and so am I. The words that you're going to be asked to spell have been divided into what we call celebrity friendly categories. The words in the category are divided into three levels of difficulty. Level one, the least difficult, will earn you 10 points. Level two, 20 points, and of course, level three, the most difficult, 30 points. If you miss a word, you don't get any points. Nada, bubkiss, diddly squat. But at the end of tonight's show, three teams are going to move on to next week's competition. Now, if any of our celebrity teams get stumped on a word, they can each call on our little spell check champion for help one time and one time only during tonight's competition. He is uh -oh. the winner. Ladies and gentlemen of the North South Foundation National Spelling Bee from Colleyville, Texas, would you please welcome 10 year old Samir Patel? <laughs> Samir's name, by the way, is worth 60 points. <laughs> Samir, how are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. Are you a little nervous? No. Not at all? No. Samir, any words of encouragement for our celebrity spellers tonight? I hope you all do well and good luck. All right. We're going to ask our first celebrity players to please take your places. Are you ready to play? Yeah. George Wentz, team one. Jay Thomas, team two. Team three, Alice Cooper. Team four, Brett Butler. All righty. George, so you good spelling? I don't want to jinx myself. Are you a little nervous? <laughs> now, we're going to choose our first category right now, and that category is... We're on hiatus. We're on hiatus. Words that relate to being on vacation. Hmm. You're going to choose a level of difficulty, 10, 20, or 30 points. Level 1, 2, or 3, your choice to start off. I'll go uh, 3. You're going to go 3. A big bite to choose. All right, for 30 points. <laughs> George Wynn, please spell Mazatlan. Mazatlan. A city and port in Mexico on the Pacific. Do I need those little uh, curly cues and things like that also? <laughs> Only yeah. if you want to turn it into a piece okay. of choreography. <laughs> All right, M-A-Z-A-T-L-A-N. 30 points for George Wynn. Start out. Let's go, Jay. Good go. strong beginning. Moving on to Jake Thomas. <coughs> Jay, pick your level of difficulty, 10, 20, or 30. Oh, don't laugh at me. I'm sorry. I'm laughing. Laughing. <laughs> You're laughing at no, me. No, I am. He's funny. 20 points. For 20 points, your word is... Tahiti. <laughs> Tahiti. <laughs> T-A... <laughs> H-I-T-I? I hope. Yeah. 20 points, correct. And on to Alice Cooper. You're the lead-off batter for Team 3. Give me a level of difficulty. 20. 20 points. All right. Your word is Cancun. Cancun. An island resort in Mexico. C-A-N-C-U-N. <laughs> 20 points your way. 
On to the lovely Brett Butler. How are you, Brett? I'm just a girl, John. Just a girl. <laughs> but you are a girl from the South, and they do spell things differently down there. Don't they? <laughs> Your level of difficulty? Oh. Ooh. Go Can I do 20? Go for no. 30. No. Al says 30. Okay, 30. Go ahead, Brett. All right. The word is Caribbean. Caribbean. C A R I B B E A N. You've been there too many times. That's exactly right. right. 30 points for you. Excellent job. Everybody's team is happy. Everybody is up on the scoreboard midway through round one. Team one has 30 points. Team two has 20 points. Team three with 20. And team four also has 30. And we're going to be right back with more of the great American celebrity spelling bee before you can spell Hemi Demi Semi Quayton. Round one is going to continue now with a brand new word category. Will our next celebrity spellers come on down? Yeah. All right. I got your back. You got my back. <laughs> and our category is in the morning. <laughs> Words that relate to things that you do when you wake up. Yeah, sure. What's your level of difficulty? Sir? Yeah, we uh, we decided we're not going to do anything but thirties from now on. Oh. Thirties from now on. Oh. Oh. I can change the bar very high. Oh. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> For thirty points, Meshack uh -huh. Taylor. Your word is cappuccino. Cappuccino, ah, ah, a drink ah. made with espresso and steamed milk. Cappuccino, C A P P U C H I N O. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't even close. C A P P U C C I N O, that's cappuccino. Hold on, no points are awarded. Do that. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next team. So you guys lost, right? That's exactly yeah. right, right, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just, you know, I want to refresh my memory. Okay, that, go right that, ahead. You know, we could take it easy. You could go ahead. Go for just, 20. Just this one. No, still, I'm going to take it easy. And <laughs> still be behind by 10 points. No. Right. Boys. <laughs> we could have Don King produce this baby in a minute. We have to finish it out in the parking lot. All right, Vincent Pastore. Yes. Right. In the first round, your team only went for 20 points. Right. <clears throat> your choice. Uh, Jay, 20. Can All I right, you're going to stay with 20 points. I'm staying with 20. All right. Would you please spell <laughs> Darjeeling? Darjeeling, a tea that's grown in the mountains Wait, of I India. I can't believe you hit me with that. You know this. <laughs> you know this. The what's, random the, what's the word? I've never even heard of this thing. <laughs> Could he have cappuccino? Yeah, yeah, well, I'll take Darjeeling. <laughs> Why don't you give me cappuccino and him the tea? I will say the word again for you. Uh, okay. Darjeeling. It is a tea that's okay. grown in the mountains of... I'm going to just go for D. <laughs> <laughs> a. R. G. A. L. I. N. G. <laughs> and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. I'm sorry, it is... <laughs> I'm sorry. It is D A R. J E E L I N G. Uh, it's your fault. No, it's your I'm fault. sorry. All right. I, I should have had cup of Gina. Gina, we know. Tough Agnes to follow. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. You got 20 points thanks to Alice Cooper. I'm going to have to go with level one. Got to start off. All right. We're going to go to our presidential level. Get the confidence up. Gina? Yes. <laughs> your word is. Oh. Espresso. Espresso. It's a finely ground coffee brewed with steam. Okay, E S P R E S S O. Espresso. <laughs> We're very I... proud of you. Ten points your oh, way. Oh, nice oh, oh, <laughs> All right, on to Alan Thick. Alan Thick. You got 30 points up there. Brett did a great job first time around. What are you going to do? I'm going to spell cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going for 30. We want to go for a 30 the, point uh, word. Yeah. All right. Want to take Vince? Uh, 
Well, in that case, you're going to love this. Would you please spell for 30 points, Alan Thick, Frappuccino. About 20 points. <laughs> Remind and, you that uh, at any time, teams, if you are stumped, you can appeal to Samir. I'm going to uh, take a chance with uh, F-R-A. P-P. 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 Not P-P. F-R-A. P-P. Which is simply fun to say. <laughs> a. C-I-N-O. Are you finished spelling? I think I, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with the, that spelling of Frappuccino. How did I do? I'll be really humiliated if you blow me off right now. Well, you got Pacino's last name right, but you did not get Frappuccino correct. It's F-R-A-P-P-U-C-C-I-N-O. -C -C -I <clears throat> Much to the disappointment of Sherman Lindsay behind me. May I have our next spellers and a new category? And that category is... High-end rides. Control a coach. No. <laughs> all right, Cindy, it's nice to have you with us. We need to choose a level of difficulty. Okay, it's all about the cars. Uh, I feel like such a wimp by saying this, but I'm going to go with 10. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> all right, okay. Cindy, I want you to spell... DeLorean. DeLorean. Okay. D E L O R I A N. <laughs> no, I think that's wrong. Don't be looking back there. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to stick with that. D-E-L-O-R-I-A-N. No, that's wrong, I think. <laughs> it is wrong. It's okay. D-E-L-O-R-E-A-N, but very close. You had to be, you had to have your driver's license in the 70s okay. to know that, She's and I know that you did. Oh, sorry, that's all right. David, that's all right. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right, David. Okay, David. Pretty come motley on. crew that you have back there, I'll come tell you. I don't want to be around in the parking lot when this group leaves. <laughs> good crew. Good crew. <laughs> all right. Good crew. What say you, sir? I think I'm going to go with 20. You're going to go with All 20. Right. All right. Your team seems to like that point. David, please spell Corniche. Corniche. Okay. I don't know if I've heard of it, but I'm going to give it a shot. C-O-R-N-I-C-H-E. I mean, it could be a K, I guess, at the beginning, but... Uh... You said... C-O-R-N-I-C-H-A. <laughs> I'll stick with that. I'll stick with that for now. <clears throat> Good for you. 20 yeah, points for you. <laughs> On to one of my favorite people in Hollywood. Hello. Carol Lee Fur. Your level of difficulty. Well, can I confer with my sure. team? Go for the 10 and get BW. <laughs> 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 On the advice of my esteemed colleagues, I will go for the simplest oh. category. Do 20. 20. I'll do 20. Now you're going to go for the <laughs> Yeah. yeah. 20 points. Yeah. Carol, I want you to spell. Okay. Porsche. Ah. Oh, okay. P O R S C H E. Porsche. <laughs> Porsche. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Chairman, it's nice to see you. It's wonderful to have you here. So, what do you think? You're going to go for 30? Well, I don't drive, so... That's a problem. <laughs> but I've seen a lot of cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 30. Yeah. I don't need to talk... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. sir. Your word. For 30 points is <laughs> Testarossa. T E S T A R O S A. Are you finished? I think. <laughs> yeah. 
For the want of one S, you missed 30 oh, points. No. It's T-E-S-T-A-R-O-S-S-A. -S -S I'm ah. sorry. All right, our spelling has just begun, and already we've got them quivering like a bunch of schoolgirls. Attention continues when we come back to the Great American Celebrity Spelling Bee. with more of the great American celebrity spelling bee based on the novel by the same name. <laughs> Opening jitters are gone. The competition is just starting to heat up. And of course, at this point, none of my hair has moved. So everything is under control. All right, let's recap our scores right now. Team one, 30 points. <laughs> Team two has 40 points. Team three in the lead with 50 points. And team four, they have 30 points as well. Our last celebrity spellers down to the podium, please. And let's see our fourth and final category in this round. The honeymoon is over. All right, we'll start with team one. Eric, it's nice to have you with us. Please choose a level of difficulty. <laughs> My level of difficulty would be 30. Woo! 30. Smell irreconcilable. Irreconcilable. I'm gonna not waste time. I'm gonna go straight to Samir. You wanna okay. go to Samir? All right. Because we Ugh. need this to get it right. Is all that right? Me? All right. Now, I have to pull your team because it has to be unanimous back there. If they all say it's time to go to Samir. It's time to go to Samir. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Samir, backstage. Are you there? Yes, I am there. How I have are been you? Twiddling my right. thumbs. Have been twiddling your thumbs. Are, are you surprised they haven't gone to you sooner? Yes, I am. <laughs> and I must say that I hope these celebrities are not making an irreconcilable decision. Oh. Whoa. Irreconcilable. I R R E C O N C I L A B L E, irreconcilable. Woo! Eric, depending upon what decision you make to go with him or against him will determine how the points will be awarded. What do you say? Well, his version matches Webster's version. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with his version. Yes, he's correct. Samir, thank you so much. You saved Team One. How are you? I'm it's nice to have you with us. Tatiana, <laughs> team has got 40 points. I'm going to go for 30. You're going to go for the 30 <laughs> point. Your word is, Tatiana, philanderer. Philanderer. To be sexually unfaithful to one's wife. Shame, shame. Philanderer. P H I L A N D E R E R. Philanderer. 30 points. Yeah. Gordon Burnson, nice to have you with us. Category is Honeymoon's Over. Any experience in that? LA Law. <laughs> Eight years, divorce attorney. I'm gonna go with 20. For 20 points, please spell prenuptial. Prenuptial. Pre, P R E, nup, N U P, chual. T U A L. T U A L. Not even close. P R E N U P T I A L is prenuptial. Prenuptial. All right. Moving on to team four, you got 30 points. Vanessa Lenji's nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me. I'm going for 30, so. Yeah. You're going to go for 30 yeah. points. Yeah. All right. For 30 points, mm -hmm. Vanessa, I want you to spell yeah. <laughs> affidavit. Oh, affidavit. Whatever you do. No look, no look mm -hmm. back there. They can't help you now. Samir? <laughs> All right. Are you appealing to Samir? Yes. Yeah. All right. Samir, we're back to you again. 
Well, affidavit basically has to do with a document that proves the truth of something. Well, I think I can tell you the truth on this spelling. All right. Affidavit. A-F-F-I-D-A-V-I-T. Affidavit. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, that's right. <laughs> You're saying he's right. It, it worked, you guys. <laughs> Samir, thank you once again. 30 points. At this point, the teams with the top two scores were to go head-for-head -head in a speed spell, the winner of which would automatically move on to our next show. But we have a tie, which means that in order to play our first speed spell round, we have to break that tie. So teams one and four, they're going to go head-to-head -head now in a tiebreaker. Now listen to this. Each team is going to get to choose a word to spell. And you can work together as a team on the spelling, but you have to appoint one member as a spokesman or a speller for your team. You're only going to have 30 seconds starting as soon as I say the word. We're going to begin with Team 1 on my left. Would you send me your representative? Yep. It is George Wynn. Yes, 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 yes. Your word in no particular category is Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Uh, S-A-S. K E T S K C H I R A I R A I No. I W A N. Nah, why has it got a U in there? I'm sorry, that's wrong. S A S K A T C H E W A N. Oh, All right, we move over now. Oh, team. All right, team oh. four, please. Get on. Your word is Archimedes. Archimedes, a Greek inventor known for his screw. Yeah. A R C H I M E D E S. Am I close? That sounds pretty good to me. You are the winners right there. Broken our tie for second place. Right now, we're going to have our two top teams join us for our first speed spell run. You come on down here. This is how a speed spell is going to work. Each team is going to get the same number of words. I'm going to give you the definition, and you're only going to have 10 seconds to spell each word. If you spell a word incorrectly, you are automatically out of the speed spell round. The winners of the speed spell are going to move on to the next show. That's a pretty nice buy. The loser is going to continue to play against the two remaining teams. The first word goes to the team that came in with the most points, and that would be team two. Jay, are you ready? Right. A cold jelly often served in a mold. Aspic. A-S-P-I-C. That's correct. Moving on to Brett. A heavy cotton ripped fabric. Corduroy. C O R. D-U-R-O-Y. That's correct. Very good. Vincent, to laugh loudly or raucously, guffaw. Guffaw. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you give me these Ten words? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> Gavon. G-O-V-O-N-E. I'm sorry, you are out. Alan, on to you. A nut-like fruit, pistachio. P-I-S-T-A-C-H-I-O. That is correct. David, on to you. One that takes the initiative. Bellwether. Bellwether. B E L L W E A T H E R. Bellwether. Well, it's incorrect. It's E T H E R. All right, Sherman, on to you. A type of deer, please. Caribou. C A R I B O U. Is correct. Tatiana, a European semi parasitic green shrub. <clears throat> Spell mistletoe. 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 M I S T L E T O E. Is correct. Vanessa, on to you. A body of water kept in reserve. Spell reservoir. R E S E R E S P V O I R. I'm sorry, it's R E S E R V O I R. All right, Jay. An ice with milk, egg white, or gelatin that's added. Sherbet. S H E R B E R T. I'm sorry, it's B E T. T. A short sermon, sermonette. Spell sermonette. S E R M O N E T T E. Is correct. All right, Tatiana, you are representing Team Two all by your lonesome. All right, okay, here we go. A popular board game, please spell Yahtzee. 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 Y 
A H T Z E E. Is correct. Alan, onto you, bearing a title. Titular. T I T U L A R. Is correct. All right. Tatiana, something that deviates from the norm. Anomaly. Anomaly. An anomaly. A N O M O L Y. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, but please stay there because Sherman. If you spell this correctly, your team gets to move on to the second show. Characterized by a hissing sound, sibilant. S-I-B-O-L-E-N-T. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Tatiana, you're still back in. <laughs> a clear liquid made by boiling meat. Bouillon. Bouillon. B-O-U-I-L-L-O-N. Bouillon. Congratulations. Oh nice job. Brett, one who organizes or manages a business, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, E-N-T-R-E-P-E-N-E-U-R. -E -E I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Tatiana, back over to you. A dark outline that's against a light background. Silhouette. S-I-L-L-H-E-U-O-T-E. Silhouette. Sorry, it's a confusing word. You're wrong on that, but hang in there, Alan. If you spell this correct, you take a nice little vacation till our next show. Adversary. Characteristic of an adversary. A D V E R S A R I A L. That is correct. You guys get the bye on to the next show. We're going to be back with more wonderful words, worried expressions from our celebrity spellers. So don't go away. Welcome back to the great American celebrity spelling bee. Team four has already won a place in next week's competition. They can sit there now, take a well-deserved rest, we're going to continue with round two, and we're down to three teams. Celebrity spellers, please come on down. <laughs> Let's find out what our new category is. I've got a prescription. These are words that pertain to the world of drugs. All right, George, we're going to start you off. Please choose a level of difficulty, 10, 20, or 30. I'll go 30. You're going to go with level three. 30 points. George, your word is methamphetamine. You can do that, George. Crystalline hydrochloride that is often used illicitly, I might add, as a stimulant. Methamphetamine. M-E-T-H-A-M-P-H-E-T-E-M-I-N-E. Only ah, one letter. Yeah, you said E M I N E, it's A M I N E. Yeah. Very good. Okay, Jay. 10, 20, or 30? 20. 20 points, please. <laughs> Spell Percocet. Percocet. P E R C A C E T. Finished? Yes. Almost. It's P-E-R-C-O-C-E-T. Oh. Almost. Percocet. Alice, I won't even make a comment on this category. All right, your team has 50 points, please. Who's a level 20, of difficulty? 20 points. 20 points. All right. Please spell Diflacan. Diflacan. It's a medication that's used primarily by women. D I F L I C A N. Fine. Yeah. Flu. Di flu. Di D I F L U C A N. I'm sorry, no points there. All right. All right. Moving on to our next set of celebrity spellers. All right, Mishak, we're going to start with you in a brand new category, and that category is words mm. that make Emerald go bang. 
Okay. Might as well go for it. 30. 30 points. Yeah. <laughs> Would you please spell Chateaubriand? Oh, wow. <laughs> C H A T E A U B R I A N D. Chateaubriand. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Vincent. Yes, how, hello, how are you? Please choose your level of difficulty. 15. 30 points. 30 points. <laughs> Please spell. Sabaglioni. I get whacked if I don't get this right. Sabaglioni, right? D A B A G. Sabag. A. L O N I. And I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Why are you give me that look? You're wrong, but I'm trying to figure out what the heck you just spelled. <laughs> it is Z A B A G L I O N E. I'm That's what sorry. I said. Oh, no. <laughs> Not quite. You were close, though. You were very close. That's all right. Hello. Oh, Tina Lee. Hi, John. Would you like to choose a 10 point, a 20 point, or a 30 point? Maybe a 10. A 10 point. You bet. Please spell pancetta, unsmoked bacon, especially used in Italian cuisine. P A N N P A N C H E T T I pancetta. I'm sticking with it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's P A N C E T T A. But good try. And when we come back, we're going to find out who stays and who goes in the next phase of competition. <laughs> Welcome back to the Great American Celebrity Spelling Bee, and you've got ringside seats. The competition continues right now. All right, moving on to a new category, and it is In the Mood. How about that? Cindy, these are words of uh, an erotic nature. Oh, no. <laughs> so just promise me you'll spell them slowly. Okay. okay what do you want so to gamble on this? Level one, level two, level three? Sounds good. Okay, I'll try 20. For 20 points, please, okay. spell. Pheromone. Pheromone. A chemical substance produced by animals that can be stimulating to others. <laughs> pheromone. <laughs> okay, pheromone. P H E R. P H E R A M O N. That's it. Good try, but the word correctly spelled is P H E R O M O N E. All right, David. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to go for three, for level three. Your word is testosterone. Testosterone, a male hormone. If I can't, if I can't spell this, yeah. I've got some problems. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go for it. Testosterone. T E S T. O S T. Testos. E R O N E. Testosterone. Finished. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty points your way. All Very right. good. All right, Carol, my love. You color. Yes. No words. Go. What do you think? I say we go for 30. 30 okay. points. All right. <laughs> Please spell. Lothario. 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 L-O-T-H-A-R-I-O. I'm done. <laughs> 30 points for you. Very good. 
All right, we're ready to conclude round two right now, and our next category is... Oh, it's happy hour. Hey, These are yeah. words relating to drinks that give you a buzz. 30 points. You're going to go for 30 points. Please smell. Stolichnaya. Stolichnaya. Stolichnaya? Stolichnaya. S-T-O-L-I. C-H. Y-N-I-A. I'm sorry, it's S T O L I C H N A Y A. So close. All right, Tatiana. Okay. 100 points. You're in the lead right now. I'd like to uh, go to level three. Level three? Yeah. Please spell Beaujolais, a light, fruity red burgundy wine. Comes out early in the year. Samir, help me. Oh, yeah. You guys agree? He's, 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 he's a drinker. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, we're going to wake up Samir backstage. Okay. Who's now 12 years old. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, Samir. <laughs> oh, okay. Beaujolais. B-E-A-U-J-O-L-A-I-S. Beaujolais. Thank you, Samir. I think he's right. You think he's right? Yeah, it sounds French. Beaujolais. <laughs> Final spell? Yes. You got 130 points. Yeah. You are the one. Right. All right, Corbin, we're moving on to you. 30 points. Listen to me. Level. Bring on the word. For 30 points. Yes. Your word is Jägermeister. Oh. Yeah. Jägermeister. Bittersweet herbal liqueur. J A G E R M E I S T E R. 30 points your way. Very good. All right, that concludes round two. Here are the scores Team one has 90 points. Team two has 130 points. Team three with 110. Team two has the highest score, which means you are going to next week's competition with Team 4. Congratulations to you. That leaves two teams. Team 1, Team 3 to battle it out. And we're going to see who gets the last word when we return. teams have earned the right to go on to next week's competition, but two teams remain. The thing is, one has got to be eliminated. Which one is it going to be? Well, we're about to find out in tonight's final speed spell elimination. Alice, we're going to start with you. A person who reigns over an empire. Monarch. M-O-N-A-R-C-H. That's correct. All right, to George, to you. A plant with edible pods. Lejeune. L-E-G-U-M-E. -E. That's correct. Very good spelling on that. Tina, yes. A light to brilliant bluish green. Please spell turquoise. Turquoise. No, turquoise. Uh, uh, T-U-R-C-O-Q-U-E. Uh, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, T-U... I'm sorry, time is up. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. 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 All right, Meshach, a government ruled with absolute power. Spell tyranny. Tyranny. T-Y-R-A-N-N-Y. That is correct. Very good. All right, Carol. Harmful to living things. Noxious. N-O-X-I-O-U-S. Nicely done. All right. Cindy, to incite by argument, exhort. Exhort. E X. H-O-R-T. You're right. Very good. All right. Corbin, an intense state of joy. Ecstasy. E-C-S-T-A-C-Y. I'm sorry. It is S-Y. Eric Roberts, on to you. A marshy body of water spelled by you. B-Y-O-U. B-A-Y-O-U. That is correct. 
Alice Cooper, a sweet fruit spelled guava. G-U-A-V-A. Is correct. All right. Small fish that spawns on the beach. Grunion. G R U N I O N. Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. A colorless gas that's used as a preservative. Formaldehyde. F O R M E. No, F O R M A L D E H Y G E. That's correct. Very good. Wow. Right. Wow. To make a bad situation worse, exacerbate. <laughs> exacerbate. Oh. EX. Ah. Time is up. I'm ah. sorry. Sorry, guys. Alice Cooper sorry, to guys. you, containing a political or a moral message. Didactic. D I A. D A C T I C. Oh, I'm sorry, it's D I D A C T I C. Cindy, back to you, please. I want to put Having a large amount of hair. Hair suit. Hair suit. H A R H A I R S U I T. <laughs> the hair confuse you, it's H I R S U T E. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, Carol. Somebody with an obsessive urge to steal. Kleptomaniac. K-L-E-P-T-O-M-A-N-I-A-C. Is correct. All right. Relating to the Middle Ages, spelled medieval. M-I-D-E-V-I-L. I'm sorry. It's M-E-D-I-E-V-A-L. Okay, Carol, back to you. A feeling of debility that is the onset of an illness. Malaise. Malaise. A shaggy reddish brown ape orangutan. O R A N G U T A N G. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. There's no G at the end. Carol, you must spell this word correctly. In order to win, you cannot win on his loss. A type of liquor. Absinthe. 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 A B S I N T A G. Carol Leifer, that is correct. You can go And that means that teams two, three, and team four are going to be returning. Next week, we'll move another step closer to finding out which one of you will walk away with $75,000 for your favorite charity and the possibility of $75,000 for yourself. All on a great American celebrity spelling bee. Thanks again. Good night. Don't move when animals attract next on Fox.